Hey, what is going on guys? It is Seth here with the Cruising Classics YouTube channel. Today we're going to be filming a video inside as the weather is changing here in Columbus, Ohio pretty quickly. And I actually have decided to start doing all the walk around videos inside and then we'll still take the cars on the test drive like we typically do. Weather depending obviously. But today I've got a 1985 Buick Riviera we're going to be showcasing. This car only has 54,000 actual miles on it. Dressed in, I believe the OEM color is called Sandpiper Beige with a carriage top. Thanks to somebody in the comments that corrected me on that. So now I'm up to speed. But you can see this car is really, really nice. We're going to get any, getting some better lighting here in the photo bay as well. The GoPro I use to film isn't the best in low light situations. And right now I've only got, uh, you can see up there, one light and we've already got the new lights in house just need an electrician out here to wire them up for you so we're going to get that taken care of but anyway obviously you guys are here to look at the car you guys can see it is a beautiful car the filler panels have been replaced and repainted and they match perfectly you can take my word on that see your wire wheels there thin white wall tires Again, carriage top, excellent glass, chrome and trim all over this car. Everything works as well. Let's go and check out our door jams like we typically do. It does have power windows, power locks, power mirrors does have a I would consider matching interior but it's kind of like an off tan or beige rather got your tilt wheel cruise control split bench seat back seat does have the armrest you can see your interior lighting art is working it's gonna take a seat real quick it does have floor mats but I took them out for photo purposes but the odometer reads four, or I'm sorry, 54,684 miles. Hopefully the GoPro will change the exposure, and it did. You can see your AM, FM radio there with tape deck. Concert sound. It does have an electronic touch climate control, which is pretty cool. And again, that all works. Rear defrog is over there on the right-hand side. Dash pad's in great shape. Walk around the passenger side. Again, same store over here, under the door, door panel, all in great shape. You'll see inside the trunk, it does have the floor mats I was talking about. The OEM ones are there, and some aftermarket ones are here. There is a seat cover there, spare tires located in its correct spot with the cover around it. But the trunk's all carpeted, so not much to see in here. Again, filler panels have been replaced and repainted and matched perfectly. Also, if you guys have never seen inside of our facility before, we do have a 56,000 square foot warehouse full of cars. This is our heated section here. We also do have a warehouse section, I guess you could say, but it's a showroom because we do have a bunch of cars for sale back there as well. But you guys can see the engine bay on this Riviera is nice and tidy. Even has an AC Delco battery. AC blows nice and cold in this car. We'll go ahead and fire it up. 
hear how she sounds. We'll turn on the headlights, check wipers, things of that nature. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and fire this thing up. You can see as she fires right up. I haven't been able to get the radio to work. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'm not, but uh, just so you guys know, I haven't been able to get it to work. I've turned all the knobs, pushed all the buttons. Uh, so I did want to rephrase myself in the beginning of the video. Uh, I guess I was wrong. I thought everything worked. So again, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe if you do buy the car, you get it to work. Uh, I'm probably just a newbie. So anyway, uh, electronic touch climate control does work. You've got your rear defrost over here. Uh, let's go and check to see if our wipers work. Yep, those come up and work. Let's go ahead and turn on our headlights. Yep, those are on and working. Let's see if our bright lights work. Yep, so those were on, those are working. Horn. Yep, you guys can hear it chirp. Low fuel light does work. You can see the gauge is accurate and working. We just keep our cars on low. In case we go on a test drive. Let's go ahead and turn the uh, we'll go by level, show you guys that it does work. You guys can hear it working there. And I do have heat coming out, so that's cool. i turn that back off. Sounds nice and healthy. She is still warming up, it is a little bit cold. I just did a complete cold start on it. Headlights and turn signals and everything are illuminated. So let's go ahead and jump in this thing. We'll take it on a drive, see how she does. All right, guys, welcome to the driving portion of the 1985 Buick Riviera. As usual, we're gonna be taking it down the road just for a short drive. Show you guys that it does go through all the gears okay. And obviously that the vehicle is actually a running and driving vehicle. We'll go down here about mile down the road or so, make a U-turn and head back. But as you guys saw in the walk around video, this car is exceptionally clean, especially with only 54,681 miles on the ticker. Inside, outside, even underneath this car is extremely clean. I think that guy may have forgotten he had a trailer because, uh, well, he pulled right out in front of us. <laughs> but this car so far is running and driving great. This is my first time driving the car, so I'm gonna share my overall opinion with you guys. The car doesn't have a tachometer or temperature gauge or anything, actually, now that I'm looking. But usually when I do these driving videos, I like to read all that stuff off to you guys. That way you guys, you know, are aware of what the car is running at, oil pressure wise, temperature wise, things of that nature. But it's extremely quiet here in the cabin of the car. No rattles, no weird noises. The car does have an overdrive transmission and I just felt it go into gear. That little noise you heard there was a rock coming off the tire. Just wanted to point that out. You guys can see I've been driving this car with one hand the whole time actually only two fingers really and it drives great we'll go ahead and throw the blink blinker on which is working there on the dashboard head back towards the showroom the car handles great as well it's a very tight steering car brake pedals nice and firm right where it should be But as mentioned in the walk around video guys, if you have any questions about this car, feel free to give us a phone call at 614-276-7355. Not sure what this cool cat's doing in his 
Corvette, but we're going to take them on the outside. Pass them. Not sure if you guys will be able to hear in the video or not with how well the car shifts. Nice firm shifts. It does sound like it has a small exhaust leak. I will point that out. But besides that, I mean, that's the only noise I'm hearing. Uh, I mean, let go of the steering wheel. Car drives straight even over the bridge decks, as you saw there. We're cruising right at 55, right with traffic. Again, this is an overdrive transmission vehicle. 305 under the hood. Nice little SS stroke pass there. But again, guys, if you have any questions about this Buick, give us a phone call, 614-276-7355. Website is Cruising Classics, Inc., also known as INC, short for Incorporated, dot com. You can view our full list of inventory there. But you can always go below this video and click the link directly to this car as well. But you'll see once we go over these railroad tracks how solid the car is. I mean, it doesn't make any noise. Just floats like a Cadillac, even though it's a Buick. <laughs> But anyway, guys, I'm going to end the YouTube video here. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Helps grow the channel. Helps us sell more cars. Helps you find more cars as well. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to end here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.